Hey guys, what's going on? This is TexmaGame95, and I'm going to do sort of a cool settings outline for the uh, TA84 Plus calculator. Now, this is just a regular school calculator that the school would normally give you if you're in a algebra or basically in a high school math course. The first thing I just want to clear up is that there's two operating systems for this camera. Basically, I guess the new and the old. And the best way to tell is uh, if it's the new or the old you just go to uh... there you go your radical there and if it has that little box it's the new operating system if it opens up a set of parentheses after the uh... radical you have the old operating system i don't think it actually matters just if something doesn't work that could be the reason why alright so the first thing we're going to do is pretty easy here and a lot of you may know it probably but uh... when you hit that alpha key and all these extra keys over here have green letters uh... Once you press that alpha, P, alpha key, pretty much goes to the letters. But uh, if you keep doing it, it uh, you have to press second every time. So if you just go to second alpha, that's uh, alpha lock. And no matter what you press, it will always stay in that green little alpha thing. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to draw on your calculator. And yes, you can do so. So to do that, you're going to want to go over to second and program. That would be draw. And all the way at the top, you're going to see clear draw, but there's nothing to clear. So just go all the way down to the bottom. Oops, I skipped it. Or you can just put an H where it says pen. And then you are on the coordinate plane. If you move your cursor around, you're going to see a little thing moving around. And to start drawing, go over and hit the enter key. And it will start drawing the line, whatever you want to make. So, and to pick up your pen... I guess you could call it hit the enter again, move your thing over a little bit, hit enter once more time, and you start drawing again. It, it, it's pretty fun to fool in a class, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it is kind of annoying with the coordinates there on the bottom and the axis. So, to get rid of those and kind of have a, to kind of have a clean template, I guess, go over to second zoom, which is going to be format. And you have all these options. The only ones that you would probably be concerned with is coordinate off and axes off. Then you're going to go back to the graph. And you get a, uh, a clean graph. So you could go once again back to draw. We just put in a alpha H. There you go. Or just H. Or not, or you could just scroll down. That works too. <clears throat> and you could start off with a clean template. So that's pretty much sums it up all for drawing. So then to uh, go ahead and clear whatever mess you've made, just go to second draw and hit enter on clear draw, and it will say done. And now you can start all over again. So the next thing I want to show you, it's not really so much fun as it is helpful. But uh, it's a way so that you can view your graph and the table at the uh, at the same time, or you could view your graph and your basic home screen here at the same time. So to do that, go over to mode, and uh, I'd, I'd pay attention. Not that it's difficult, just you can really screw up your calculator. And uh, where it says full horizontal or G dash T, you could go to uh, horizontal if you want, and go to second quit. And that puts your graph on top with uh, your regular, you know, solving unit on the bottom. So whatever you put in, let's just do uh, squared. Uh, or not. Squared graph. It'll keep that there as you can uh, see your graph. So you can do whatever you want and still view your graph at the same time. It can get kind of annoying though, because uh, it kind of stretches out your graph. But uh, it's just helpful. Another way you can view it is same thing going back into mode. And where it says horizontal, switch it over to G T. And by the way, I'm doing all this by sliding over it and hitting enter. Can't really see it, but kind of self-explanatory. Or a second quit, and that what that does is when you view your graph, you have your graph on one side and your table on another. This gets kind of helpful if you're looking for a 
I guess at X or Y intercepts and you can't really be sure because of the graph it uh it's just an easy way to quickly look and to get it back to normal you just go down to a uh, full and that'll get you the regular graph alright so now I'm going to jump back into the graph and uh, these are just some kind of basic things using uh, zoom right here now most of these don't matter zoom in zoom out that's pretty uh, standard but if you go to <laughs> zoom standard it'll give you the basic 10 by 10 uh, grid so you know if you don't feel like putting it into a window if say a window is larger or smaller it's just a, a simple way to put it back to a negative 10 to 10 and then 10 to negative 10 another key thing in using zoom is all the way down where it says zoom fit this will take a much larger graph and kind of fit the axes to where you can see the full effect of the graph this comes in handy when you're doing uh, rational functions in a uh, calculus to kind of see where the uh, endpoints are this probably won't make a lot of sense to you but uh, it, it, once again it's just helpful and that is going to be it for this video let me know if you guys have any uh, questions I'll be glad to help I will be doing a uh, a separate video hopefully soon about putting games on your calculator I don't know if if it's a school on calculator if they block the uh, the app section where I believe it goes into so you can't do that but this is my own personal calculator uh, so I will be doing that I know there's a bunch of cool games like Mario and Tetris and stuff that I'd uh, like to teach you guys how to put in the calculator because you know it's a lot of fun but uh, until then text my game 95 uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, that'll be all. Thanks.